Hello guys, I'm Val and welcome to the last video of 2021. Yeah, it's almost holiday season and um, I just want to finish uh, this year very nicely with Tris Marigold, also from The Witcher, as this week is dedicated mostly to The Witcher. And if you're interested to see how I'm going to do Tris, please keep on watching. I decided to continue The Witcher and um, bring the Triss into the channel basically because I actually did Triss once, um, the more of a game version of her and right now we're having the season 2 and sometimes we're having a backslash on the actress and um, Actually, I think there is nothing wrong with the Triss as an actress right now as long as you keep the character correctly looking, let's say. Um, it's never told that Triss is like pure white or something, but it's told that she has an auburn chestnut hair and blue eyes. So keeping already that, uh, making the character more recognizable and I haven't seen a single cosplayer being uh, like denied because they have a face that is different or the race that is different, different ethnicity. But they are keeping the character and everything about the character in place and so they are looking good. And I guess that's the main problem I had most of the times with the serious on Netflix. <laughs> yeah, just keep the character. Anyway, let's move on into the actual makeup, otherwise I'm talking too much. I have my base on and I'm stuttering, stuttering. I'm starting with the contour, the same way as in all other uh, videos that I basically have. It's the same NYX sweet cheeks you can see. I've got to the pan, which is absolutely great. And um, yeah, just a bit of contouring. Before I'm moving into blush, I want to make a few freckles because she's a red hat technically and she does have freckles, which I honestly like. And I'm using the same technique of the stippling sponge and the brown cream paint. And yeah, that's it. For blushing I'm using the Balm Beach, it's more of a peachy color because it fits to my complexity and yeah, just a bit of it. A bit of highlighter and boom, everything comes together. And now let's talk a bit about the eyes and the eyebrows. Um, so the character herself has blue eyes, which explains my lenses today. However, in majority of things, even in The Witcher 3, she has green eyes because red hat and green eyes is a classic combination. And uh, Anna in the Netflix series actually has brown eyes, naturally. They could have given her lenses, would look cool, but for some reason. And uh, so, what is the chestnut auburn hair? You have seen my Lenore video, and basically this is what I'm going to do, but for the eyebrows today I'm going to be using the Cowboy, uh, which is a brown gel. I hope it's not too dark. And for the eyes themselves I'm going to do a bit of a mixing, um, because I do like the naturalism of the series, while I do like the more dramatic way of the game. Which leaves me without a bigger choice, but to make mix of both. So if you intensify the colors that I'm using you will get the game version and if you lighten it up you will get the serious version which is pretty simple I think. And the colors, majority of them are gonna be also related to the auburn, chestnut, brownish, beige, um, everything as usual are somewhere around the screen. And let's begin with the eyebrows. So I used the gel liner and then um, brushed it out and uh, added a bit of the uh, Wet n Wild 
lip pencil the same one that I used in Lenore video but not as much today because I want to keep it a bit more muted a bit darker on some areas so after that we're moving on into the eyes uh, majority of times I guess I will be using the nude palette uh, approximately the same way as it was with Siri or with girls from Arcane with Vi and Jinx because the principle is pretty much the same so yeah all the colors you will see somewhere on the screen as a pop-up text and let's start Now the basics. If you intensify the black in such a look, you will get the game version really really easily. You also need to add the black eyeliner uh, on the lower lash line. If you remove a bit of intensity, like a couple of browns away, um, you will get the look from the series, because she doesn't really have anything that much at all. So now only lashes left I think I will be doing just regular smaller lashes let's say and after that a bit of lip color I would probably use the lip pencil um, something like that nothing too fancy similar to my lips and um, yeah that's pretty much it and we will see the final result in a couple of moments this is my final look on Tris. So let's say it's my take on her. I also did a couple of buns just like in the game because I don't have a curly ginger wig. Like I have a pink one but it's not, not auburn. Um, so yeah, I decided to go with this instead. And uh, no nice dresses or sexy clothes, just the medieval shirt and a bit of a cape. After all, she got uh, injured in the sudden hill and she would never wear a dress with an open breast again, as she said. If you didn't know that, I'm sorry, but it's time to either read or watch something in regards to that and maybe, maybe not watch makeup videos first. Anyway, um, thanks. To you guys this was a wild ride in the past month and I'm really really happy that the amount of you on the channel grows and I actually get a feedback on the stuff that I'm doing and this really gives me joy and thank you so much for being with me I wish you a really nice new year and uh, Merry Christmas and hope next year will start with something positive and nice for you and on this note, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one in the 2022. Bye!